Okay, here's brain teaser number two for you. I've spun up the gyroscope. I'm placing it at the centripetal locus of the large neodymium iron boron. I'm simply placing my fingers here to keep the gyroscope from being forced to the centrifugal edge. Uh, I obviously can't let you watch you know, three or four minutes of, uh, of boring spinning on the gyroscope here. But here's your riddle number two. Why will the gyroscope sit here and spin uh, approximately one minute longer than it will totally away from this magnet on a regular floor or a slick surface? Right now it's sitting on a rather thick sheet of copper, which is sitting on top of the large neodymium iron boron. But if I let go of it, remember, it will, this will spin for about almost four minutes. Totally away, I mean, uh, right here at the dead center, the centripetal convergence point of this large neodymium iron boron, which is underneath the copper sheet here. Why will it spend four minutes here at the centripetal point, yet if I let go, or it's, if I were just to place it, if I were just to bring it here and let go of it, it will, of course, drag itself to the centrifugal edge where the magnetic force vectors are the strongest, which you can actually tell underneath a Gauss meter. It will fling itself to the centrifugal edge, and then it will slow down very rapidly, just like that. So, what's the answer? Uh, if it didn't actually spin off there, if I were to hold it at the edge, it would actually slow down here, it would actually start here and make its way to the centrifugal edge and start, well, let me spin it up again. I don't have this magnet perfectly flat. Let me bring it to the middle of the case here. I'll spin it up again and I'll show you what normally happens. You did see it there, but you didn't see it completely. Spin up the magnet and let it find its way to the centrifugal force vector edge where it will very rapidly slow down the gyroscopic flywheel. You'll notice it start to process there. It's very, it's about 70% of the way to the edge. I'm holding it here to keep it from flying off. Ah, there we go. So four minutes at the centripetal point, otherwise letting it go. The brass flywheel will be forced to the centrifugal edge, depending on how I spin the gyroscope. If I spin it clockwise, face down, it'll come here. If I spin it counterclockwise, looking face down, it will spin itself over here, and it will slow down rapidly. So you got about 10 seconds roughly over here before it loses total stability, but you have one minute roughly longer at the centripetal point of, st of stable spin than if it were completely away from this magnet and copper plate. So extremely short here, roughly 3 minutes and 50 seconds short here at the centrifugal edge, but one minute longer here at the centripetal point versus both points in reference to totally away from this magnet, just on a wood floor, whatever. So roughly a minute longer here, and roughly three minutes and 50 seconds shorter here. So that's brain teaser number two for you. See if you can figure it out. It's not that complex, and yet at the same time it is. So, thanks.